We'll start in a forward fold. Feet at least hip width, but you can make it wider. And bend your knees. Hold your elbows behind your knees. Relax them. Close your eyes and invite your focus inward. How is your body? Scanning the body. Observing any tightness or freedom. How is your breath? Where does it go? How deep is it? Does it feel forced? How's your mind? Are there cycling of thoughts or do you feel pretty relaxed? Without judgment, observe the mind. How are all three together? Is your mind, your breath preoccupied with tightness in the body? Does your breath feel short because you feel anxious or because you're in a forward fold? Do you feel disconnected to your breath or your body because you're focused on the mind? Observe what's happening right now with the eyes closed from our first forward fold. Relax the head again. Take a nice deep breath in and out. Maybe straighten your legs a little bit to go deeper into the hamstrings. Three deep breaths. Release your hands. Step the left foot back and lower the left knee. Situate your hips. Come into a low lunge. Hands can be in any expression as this is our first lunge. Keep the right knee more or less up the right ankle. Keep tension out of the low back. Fold forward, bring your hands down, and straighten your right leg. Keep your right toes reaching for the mat. Your left heel turned up towards the ceiling. Shoulders away from your ears. Bend the knee, lift the left knee, step forward, step the right foot back, bring yourself into a low lunge. Sink the hips forward, both of them forward. And any moment of the practice today, if it feels good to float your eyes closed, Close the eyes. Always an opportunity for inward focus today. Bring your hands down. Straighten the left leg. Bow. Soften your elbows back. Fold a lot or a little. Close your eyes. Observe body, breath, and mind in any of the postures, any opportunity to close your eyes, close your eyes. Bend the knee, lift the right knee, step forward. Knees don't have to be locked. Soften the knees or bend the knees a lot. Inhale, flatten your back, push you to the floor or your legs. 
exhale, use your hands behind the calves to fold forward, inhale deeply, make your spine straight, shoulders reaching towards the hips, exhale, bow belly, chest, head towards the legs, three times more. Tilt your pelvis forward, arch your back, do the opposite, tuck your tailbone, turn the fronts of your hips up, and then arch your back again, round again, bring your arms up over your head, interlace your fingers, press your feet, into the mat and your palms up towards the ceiling. Bring your head back, chin back. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward. Step to plank pose. Lower your knees. Close the eyes. Cat and cow. We're going to be falling forward a lot today, so connect to the rotation of your pelvis here. When we're in cow pose, we're anteriorly tilting the pelvis, opening up the backs of the legs. Exhale, round, release the low back. We want to, in our forward folds today, have the pelvis anteriorly rotated. Feel how your tailbone is lifting up. Hold the pose for a few breaths. How there's more space in the backs of your legs here as we fold into cat pose. We feel a stretch in the back. We can work on both of these today as we work on folding forward. Take one more cat and cow. Come to neutral, bring your knees together, sit back, stretch your arms out, lift your palms, activate under the palms and underneath the armpits. Walk your hands over to the left, crunch into the left side and stretch out the right side body. Your hips can be over your heels or they can be slightly to the right. Come to center, over to the other side. Come to center, come back into tabletop, tuck your toes under and come into downward facing dog. Close your eyes here. Think of this as a bit of a forward fold as well, keeping the focus internal on your body, on your breath, on your mind. Step your right foot forward. And stretch out your arms. Press your left heel back and reach your arms forward. Look towards your hands and lift the left leg. Keep your fingertips on the mat. Keep your pelvis facing down, neutral. Toes of the left foot facing down. Bring your hands to your heart. And then bring your left knee towards your chest. Bring your hands underneath the foot. 
Push your foot into your hands. Push your right foot into the mat. Bring your hands to your heart. Step your left foot back. Bring your hands down. Step your right foot back. You can flow in any way you like. Knees, chest, chin, or cobra, or chaturanga. Adding any of those elements into the practice. We're going straight to down dog. Listen to yourself today. Left foot steps forward. Crawl your hands forward. Press the right heel back. Lift your right leg up. Feel like you're suctioning up through the palms of the hands to the armpits. Turn your pelvis facing down, hands to heart. Bring your right knee up, hands around the foot. Press your foot down into your hands. Press your left foot into the mat. Bring your hands to your heart and step your foot back. Bring your hands down, make your way to down facing God. Close your eyes and down your eye, feel your body, feel your breath, listen to your thoughts. Step the right foot forward, hands to your hips, lift your chest, and bring the back foot in. Hips square forward, and you can have your hands on your hips, you can have your hands in reverse prayer, hold the elbows, fold. Halfway. Right foot active, left heel pressing back, spine parallel to your mat. Push your ribs into your forearms if your hands are behind the back. Bring your chin slightly in. Turn your inner thighs towards each other, exhale. Inhale, lift up. Lift your arms. Exhale, bring your hands down, slightly bend to the right knee, lift your back leg. Take standing splits here, any variation. You can have your hand on the ground, you can hold the standing leg, squeeze the left glute with the hip, lift the heel, excuse me, find your balance. Bring your hands down, step back. Make your way to down dog. Bring the left foot forward. Hands to your hips come up. Bring your back foot down. Come into half pyramid pose or folding only halfway. So bring your hips back and hold. Hands wherever you want, on the hips, behind the back. In reverse prayer, holding the elbows, pull your ribs in, pull your chin in, find your balance, inner thighs moving inward. Bend the left knee a little and bring your hands down, lift the right leg. The standing leg can be as bent as you need it. You can make it as challenging as you wish. Hands can be on the leg, one hand, both leg hands. Hands can be on the mat, lifting the right heel. Hands down, foot down. Step back and move yourself into downward facing dog.
Step your right foot forward, turn to the long edge of your mat. Turn your toes in more than the heels. Walk your hands over to the left. You can hold on to the leg, bow. Walk to the other side, bow. Bring yourself into center. Flatten your back, bring your hands back, interlace the fingers, fold forward. Bend your knees and think about that tilt in your pelvis like in cow pose. Bring your tailbone up, relax the spine, relax your head. Release your hands. Crawl your hands around your front foot and step forward. Bring your hands to your hips. Come upright. Pause in Tadasana. Bring your hands to your heart center. Close your eyes. Feel even in your feet. Scan your body. Observe your breath. With your eyes closed, remain internal. Bring the weight into your right foot and do the same posture with a variation to go deeper. So you can bring your foot up, hold on to the bottom of your foot. Maybe you're here holding on to the knee, which is also fine. Or you can have your hand under your foot. Or you can start to fold forward. Bringing your left foot forward, elbows out to the side, folding towards your standing leg. Excuse me, folding towards the lifted leg. Start to lift your chest and bend the knee and release. Switch your sides. Stay with the knee bent or holding the knee or holding the foot. You can start to fold forward. Feel space in your low back. Opening the right hamstring potentially. Bend your knee back and release. Lift your arms, fold. Take a vinyasa to downward facing dog. Bring your right shin forward for pigeon. Stay on your hands, lower onto your elbows, or extend all the way forward. Think of this as a forward fold, tilting forward, asymmetrically stretching, but remaining internal. When we go internal, we can manipulate the prana flow. We can connect to where we feel stuck energy and breathe into it. Maybe not changing the shape of our body, but we can relax our minds, relax into poses, finding what works best in our bodies. Onto your hands. Into the downward facing dog through flowing or skipping it. Shake out your hips if you wish. Left foot comes forward for pigeon prep. Take the posture that best fits your body. Maybe that's a seated pose. But try to fold forward, releasing.
Make your way back into downward facing dog through a piazza flow, through plank pose, whatever feels best. Last downward facing dog. Come to seated. You can hop there or lower your knees. Bring your feet to the mat and hug and bow. Feel the back ribs moving. Lift your head, bring your hands underneath your knees, and start to move your heels forward and your hips back. Think about not only the stretch of your hamstrings as we go forward, but releasing along the spine. Spine long. The head is the last thing to release. Bring your hands to the ground and straighten your spine. Bring your right foot in for Johnny Sarsasana. Foot touching the inner thigh, lift your arms, pull forward. Breathe into the low back, breathe into the left hamstring. You can move into a twist here. Walk your hands back towards you, press up. Place your right foot on the mat, but about a fist distance or more away from the left leg. Stay here, pull towards your left leg or bind. Three deep breaths. Release. Straighten the right leg. Bring your left foot in for Jagan Sarsasana. Fold. If you took it into a twist on the other side, you can do that on the side too. Walking your hands outside the right leg, relaxing the left hip back. Bring your hands back towards you, using your hands to lift your chest. Bringing your left foot down, hold the knee, stay here. Hold the foot, stay here, or right. Take three deep breaths. Out of it, extend the right leg. Scoot your hips forward and turn to the long side of your mat. Upa Vista Konasana, you can turn your toes up, knees up, and stay here. You can place your hands in front of you and pull forward. Come up to seated, bring your legs together. Come onto your back, knees into the chest. Take halasana here, cloud pose, and bring your legs over your head. 
You can have your hands on the back or interlace your fingers, bringing the shoulder blades closer together. You can stay here for a few new breaths. You can close the eyes and gaze towards the third eye. You can take the knees down by the ears, going deeper into the forward fold. Release out of the pose, very, very nice. Take your hands onto your knees. Move your sacrum around. Both directions. For Shavasana, either take Shavasana normally, legs extended, palms open, or you can take butterfly. You're in butterfly, press your palms on your belly. In either of the postures, keep the eyes closed. Stay connected to your breath. Notice how you feel with your eyes closed. With your focus fully internal, scan your body again. How's the body? Where do you feel stuck? Where do you feel free? How's the breath? Does it feel relaxed and natural? What moves as you inhale, what moves as you exhale? How does your mind feel after practicing? Where's your focus? How is your body and your breath and your mind working together? Stretch yourself long, keep the eyes closed, gaze at your third eye.
Feel wisdom, knowledge. Walk your feet in. Roll over to the side and come up to see you. If you've opened your eyes, close the eyes again. Bring your attention back to the center of your forehead. Open your palms. Bring your chin slightly in. Feel your breath moving in your heart. Smile to yourself and bow to yourself. Namaste. 